What is up everyone, welcome to this video. So today I want to show you how I optimize Suyu on my Legion Go. But before we get started, I just want to show, uh, this is how I usually use my uh, Legion Go's controller. They're detached and they're connected with this 3D printed uh, controller adapter. And this is the one that I made at home. If you guys are interested, please subscribe to the channel and comment down below. And I'll be picking one to two lucky viewers every month and, and I can send you one of these for free. Alright, so let's get started. First, we want to hit emulation and configure to get into the configurations menu. And we want to head straight over to the system tab since there is not much to worry about in general. And under the core configuration, we have a multi-core CPU emulation checked. And the next is memory layout. We choose that to be four gigabytes since six gigabyte and eight gigabyte options are both tagged unsafe at the moment. And for speed limit percent, we want to set this to 100 or sometimes 110% if you want to, uh, you know, your game to play out slightly faster. For example, if you're playing some turn-based games and you want faster um, combat. Next, let's head over to CPU and CPU accuracy as auto. And graphics, under graphics, we have a couple of things we want to change. First, you want to make sure the API uses Vulkan and device is AMD Radeon graphics. So this is your 780M uh, in integrated graphics in your, in your Z1 Extreme processor. And in the ASTC decoding method, make sure we have GPU and VSync mode. I currently turn this off since I'm uh, limiting my frame rate at 30% anyways. And so I'm not turning on VSync. But if you experience any stutter or any uh, tearing, then you can forcibly turn the VSync on. But now I'm just putting the VSync off. And the next couple things we don't have to worry about full screen mode. I'm currently put this to borderless windows since we can just uh, toggle into full screen mode by pressing F11. And aspect ratio is uh, 16 by 9, which is the default aspect ratio of the game. And resolution we have 1x. So uh, this is the part slightly interesting. And I'll be mentioning this, uh, talking talking more about this later because they this has slight impact on the uh, on the rendering. So uh, normally you want to choose anything that's one uh, x or like below one x. I found I found like uh, anything below 1080p uh, works the best, and later I'll explain why. So Windows adapting filter you want to put this as AMD uh, fidelity FX super resolution and this is the AMD's um, proprietary scaling uh, mechanism so you want to choose this one for the optimum result and for anti-aliasing I'm putting none I have uh, tried FXAA and SMAA uh, for the game that I'm playing, uh, it didn't work, you know, it didn't make that much difference, so uh, we can just simply put it as none at this moment. And for FSR sharpness, I'm putting this to zero. Normally, it's uh, I think it's defaulted to 80%. I'm putting this to zero because um, when Fidelity FX Super Resolution applied to a game and it's upscaled to you know to your screen size the things can get too sharp if you put it to 80 percent uh, we don't want that uh, I I comp I simply compared my um, you know real switch device and uh, Legion Go um, the sharpness I found um, at zero percent it's um, it's closest to the to original switch so I'm putting this to 0%, but if you want a sharper, sharper image, then you can always tune up um, this gauge. 
So background color, uh, we can it's default to black. We don't have to worry about this. And um, on the, in the, still in the graphics, but we want to switch over to advanced tab. So accuracy level depend on the software version. It could be high or extreme. I put it this to normal because I didn't see any huge impact on the game when selecting high or extreme. Um, so that's why I'm setting this to normal just to, you know, uh, offload some of the pressure from the processor. And for uh, filtering, I'm putting 2x, but normally you can put default or 2x or 16x. That, that does, doesn't make that much difference, but probably it could make difference on a bigger screen like, um, you know, uh, 17 inch or even 13 inch screen. But since Legion Go has 8.8 .8 inch and if you're using uh, Steam Deck, that would be 7 inch and the same for RG Ally, that would be 7 inch as well. I think with such a you know small screen size, you there is nothing really uh, can be noticed when you uh, switching these settings. So at least they, they can be really challenging to to notice. So we can just put simply 2x where you can default it to default. Uh, doesn't really matter for ASCC uh, recompression method. I'm putting this to medium quality because. I found the medium quality works uh, or, you know, it, it presents the graphics almost the same as uncompressed, best quality on this big screen. Um, so that's why I'm choosing this to medium quality. And for the VRAM method, I'm putting this to conservative and I tried aggressive, but aggressive, uh, it used up slightly more VRAM, but it didn't make that big difference, you know, like, so I'm putting this to conservative and all the, all the options down here. Um, I have only checked use asynchronous shader building because it says it can reduce the shader, uh, stutter, but I didn't find this that much useful at this moment. I just uh, kept the check because it, it, it says it's, um, uh, it's doing the job, but uh, I don't know. I just got this checked and I use fast GPU time. Uh, so this is uh, force the you know force most games run at their highest native resolution. And the next is use Vulcan uh, Vulcan pipeline cache. So this can uh, accelerate some of your graphics computation. And the next is the barrier feedback loops. I don't know what exactly this do, but I just kept it checked because it was checked uh, by default. So any other things, I unchecked them because I didn't either I didn't find them useful or I found them like using uh, too much resources while like having you know minimal impact or minimal improvement on the game. So once these check, we can uh, hit OK. OK, now our game has started. Once you're in the game, you want to make sure you hit this uh, Legion Go menu and set the thermal mode to performance and OS mode to performance too. Uh, because emulator is a CPU heavy task, the CPU performance sort of decides how your game uh, plays out. So with that being said, if I run my character, you can see the FPS still uh, kept and uh, stable at 30 FPS, which is pretty good. However, there are some minor issues that you can see um, over there on the on the hills. Uh, there are some rendering issues happening, like you can see the black pixels appearing randomly. Uh, so. I don't know exact reason why that's happening at the moment, but it seems like this is the limit uh, limitation of the current version of this emulator. However, remember I mentioned the resolution tab in the in the configuration. So if you set the resolution below uh, 1080p to anything like uh, 810p, uh, some some value like that. Uh, this effect would be uh, uh, 
be moderated quite well. But however, uh, if you choose a low resolution like that, your your graphics kind of look, you know, really very mushy. Uh, so that's why you kind of have to, um, you know, trade off. I think at the moment. Okay, so before we end this video, there is one last tip I want to share with you guys. Uh, so we want to head over to the start and go. Let's go to the settings, and then go to system, and go to display, and then go to related settings and graphics. Once you're in this menu, you can set. Uh, how you want the operating system to handle certain application. Um, so for example now uh, my Suyu executable is set to high performance uh, using the GPU AMD Radeon graphics. So you can do this by hit browse and click the select the Suyu executable and click add and once it's added, you can change the option to the high performance and using the GPU AMD Radiant graphics. So with this, you're telling the operating system to handle uh, the tasks associated with Suyu application uh, to use GPU instead of uh, the CPU. That wraps up today's video and thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that like button and leave the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.